Igbo land on fire. Nigerian troops in panic as Brafia Day returns bloody. Soldiers slaughtered in devastating attack. Details emerge. Good morning, everyone, and once again, thank you all for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got your hearing this morning. As our headline for this morning says that Igbo lands on fire, Nigerian troops in panic as Brafia Day turns bloody. Two soldiers slaughtered in devastating attack. Details emerge. It says that tragedy struck in Abba, Abia State, as unknown gunmen ambushed and killed two Nigerian soldiers. Killed two Nigerian soldiers at Obi Kaba Junction in Oba Hill on Thursday. The attack occurred on Brafian Heroes Day. Declared by the outlawed indigenous people of Brafia, IPOB, across the southeast on May 30th. Video footage posted on the social media platform X by multiple sources shows the aftermath of the deadly ambush, including a military vehicle set ablaze and gunshots heard through empty streets. The viral video reveals a tense atmosphere as residents adhere to the illegal seat at home order in Abia State. According to Politics Nigeria, the soldiers were ambushed, resulting in a deadly attack on a day in the southeast, as mourning the men and women who sacrificed their lives for the cause of the Brafian War of 1967 to 1970. The identities of the as assailants remain unknown, and the Nigerian army has yet to release an official statement as details continues to emerge. Earlier, IPOB has declared a seat at home on May 30th across the five southeast states, warning against any businesses, act activities, or movements to honor to honor Igbo people killed during the Nigerian Civil War. In response, the Enugu state government rejected the seat at home order, stating it had put security agencies on high alert to maintain law and order. IPOB spokesman Imar Parafu advised the West African Examination Council WAEC to reschedule exam slated for May 30th and similarly urge Inamdi um, Aziku University in Anambra State to shift its convocation date. The seat at home order significantly impacted the, day, the, day, the daily life and economy of the region, with schools, businesses, and public space largely deserted. Our correspondent in Anambra State observed a heavy security presence in major markets and schools on Wednesday as residents make last-minute passage in preparation of the seat at home. Meanwhile, Simon Ekpa, a fractional leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Brafia, posted the same video on his ex page stating the, re stating the resistance fighters are in high spirits decimating the terrorist state. The situation remains violent with increased security measures in place to prevent further violence the attack highlights the ongoing tension and instability in the southeast region of Nigeria, exacerbated by the activities of the IPOB and its corresponding government um, responses. As the Nigerian army investigates the incident, the public awaits official communication to provide clarity and assurance amid the turmoil. That is all we have for you all concerning this headline, which says, Igbo lands on fire, Nigerian troops in panic. As Brafian Day turns bloody, two soldiers slaughtered in devastating attack. Details emerge. Well, you had it for me this morning because it was a very big tra tragedy, a very big bad day in Ab Abia State because unknown government attacked Nigerian soldiers, killing two Nigerian soldiers who wanted to stop the sit at home in Abia State. This government were, um, they were enforcing the sit at home on the individuals in the southern eastern region of nigeria because video footage posted on the social media platform x by multiple sources shows the aftermath of the deadly ambush including a military vehicle set ablaze and gunshot heard through empty streets the viral video reveals a tense atmosphere as residents adhere to the illegal sit at home order in abia states as residents adhere to the legal sit at home order in Abia State. And according to the Politics Nigeria, say the soldiers were ambushed, resulting in a deadly attack on a day in the southeast morning, the men and women who sacrificed their life for the cause of the Brafian War. 
the, this is because the reason of this um, sit at home is the south is that they are taking it as, as a day to mourn the men and women who sacrificed their life for the Brafian war. And disobeying that is a very big crime. It's a very big crime concerning the Brafian states. And that's why those governments were enforcing it. Because the Nigeria, the, Nigeria, the, the general inspector of police said that the, the, the IPOB does not have the right to impose such a such a law, such a sit at home. You grab. So they said that there will be men on ground. Even the Nigerian army said that no, 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 they won't allow it. Also, the state government said no, they won't allow it. So they put men on ground, and unfortunately, those men on ground were ambushed in Abia State by those government, and two were reportedly killed. And what did the, gov the government say concerning this? The government, or the Nigerian army, or the general inspector of police, have not said anything concerning this um, killing of these two. Uh, Nigerian army personalities that we have, they have not said anything you know, concerning the attack. They just kept silence concerning it. But the question is, what did they even want to say? The IPOB strictly warned them that they will be th that they will take decisive action when the citadel is not is not ahead to. What did they want to say? They can't do anything since the people involved of the action were not caught. They didn't cut. They didn't catch the government. The gun. The unknown gunmen in any way. What did they want to do? They have nothing to do. But what do you think they can do? Let me see more of your comments in the comment section and don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap that subscribe button to subscribe to our channel so as notification bell so that anytime we have any new video like this or any latest updates concerning this video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you all for tuning in and have a wonderful and